There are so many fragrance websites out there. Is LaBelle Perfumes legit? I have two separate orders from them. Let's smell and find out. Welcome back to Stop and Smell. I'm Jensen. Thank you for liking my videos and subscribing. After the video I made on Aura Fragrance and how it's legit or not, I got some messages about a lot of other fragrance websites, and one of them was LaBelle Perfumes. In this video, I'll go over my experience with LaBelle Perfumes, two separate shipments, three fragrances, I'll give you my first impressions on each fragrance, and I'll tell you about some discount codes. One discount code was good for free shipping, and the other discount code was good for 15% off. I've been ordering from LaBelle Perfumes for a while now. I haven't really made a video on them, but since there was interest on LaBelle Perfumes, I decided to make a video on two different orders that I placed. LaBelle Perfumes does have a physical store in Florida, but for those of you that have made purchases in the store, please leave a comment and tell me about your experience. This video in no way, shape, or form is sponsored by LaBelle Perfumes. This is just me as a consumer giving you my feedback and reviewing some fragrances while I'm at it. Okay, so both orders that I placed arrived in boxes. There was padding inside. None of the bottles were broken. They are intact. The shipments arrived in about five business days. Navigating on this website is not the best, but it's not the worst. I've seen better formats, but I've seen worse too. Sometimes it's good to go up to the top of the website and scroll down and make sure you click on new releases. I have actually found some really hard to find fragrances that I couldn't find at other websites. So LaBelle Perfumes does have great selection. Sometimes they're sold out, but their prices are pretty good compared to others. Let's start with this one. Guess Seductive Red Ohm. This is a very nice red bottle. The price was already pretty decent, under $25, but with the discount code, it was actually under 20. Guess Seductive Red Ohm is a 2021 release. The top notes are fig, lemon zest, cinnamon, the mid, orange blossom, kumquat, geranium, the base, vanilla, sandalwood, and amber. Let's spray this on skin. In the opening, the fig, the lemon zest, and the cinnamon don't stand out a lot. They all blend nicely. The opening seems very fruity. It's very attractive. I know this is a cheap fragrance, so I'm not expecting something that's mind-blowing, but it is a nice opening. It's modern, it's fruity, it's a little spicy, and it is a little alluring. I can see how people will like this opening very much. In the mid, that kumquat note is very present, and the other fragrance that I have with kumquat is Moschino Uomo. It's actually reminding me of another fragrance, Hugo Boss Bottled, the EDT version. It's kind of light and reminiscent. It's not a clone by any means, and it doesn't have that apple note, but it is similar to it. It's in that vibe. If you enjoy Hugo Boss Bottled, I think you'll enjoy this one too. In the base, it warms up with vanilla, sandalwood, and amber. The next fragrance is Rocha's Loam. This comes in the blue bottle. It's actually quite a nice bottle. It has the sides ridges. Rocha's Loam is a 2020 release. Top notes, blood orange, pineapple, cardamom, mid notes, juniper berries, geranium, basil, base, tonka bean, patchouli, and moss. The opening is a little fruity yet spicy with a combination of blood orange, pineapple, and cardamom. 
It goes into the mid rather quickly and becomes a little bitter with that juniper berry. The geranium and basil join in and give it a green herbaceous quality. In the base, it becomes a little earthy and woody with patchouli, moss, and tonka bean. All the notes blend rather well. It becomes a little woody, earthy, but there's fruitiness, there's greenness, there's herbaceousness. It's a lot of notes, but it's blended rather well in my opinion. Okay, enough about the notes, right? Does it smell good? It actually does. It smells modern. It smells very masculine. It smells a little bit like Dylan Blue to me. Not at all a clone, but with that vibe. It's fresh, spicy, masculine. It is a blue scent, but it's not your typical blue scent. Some may call this generic. I mean, if you have a lot of blue scents, you're probably tired of blue scents to begin with. It's not loud, but it is dense. I think this will stay on your skin above average. It seems very versatile. It does have that vibe where you can wear this in the office. The opening seems very office friendly into the mid. I enjoy the mid to the dry down more. I think it becomes a little bit more sensual. The next order, I was really surprised that I found it. I've been looking for this one for so long. I'm a big fan of Narciso Rodriguez. And Narciso Rodriguez, for him, must collection EDP. This is a very beautiful bottle, in my opinion. It's done very well. It looks like the others. Very heavy. Looks almost like a like a mirror reflection, like a funhouse effect, but it is very nice. It looks good. This is a 2009 release, and the note breakdown is very simple. You have musk, iris, and red berries. Let's spray this on skin, too. Ooh, that atomizer is great. That opening is mind-blowing for me. Of course, you have to be a fan of musk, and Narciso Rodriguez in general, because this is definitely reminiscent of his others that I have. But this one is very beautiful. It starts with that musk. It comes in very heavy. If you're not used to smelling musk fragrances, then you might be overwhelmed. So beware, but I enjoy it. And that musk settles down, introducing iris and it smooths it out. It's very fresh iris. It's not lipsticky. It's not powdery. It's very pleasant. It's very sensual, very elegant. You can definitely dress this up. The red berries are in the background just to balance everything out. This is a great composition. It's great quality. I'm very impressed. I'm very glad that I bought this. This is a very classy fragrance, and it is EDP concentration. I can pick this up stronger than the other two so far, from the opening, from the mid, into the dry down. I've waited a while for all three to settle down. If you made it this far into my video, please give me a like and subscribe. It's free. Let's work our way back. Guess Seductive Red Ohm was up first, and it has tamed down a bit. It's not as interesting as the opening. The opening was my favorite. It settled down, and it's not just a skin scent. I can still pick it up, but this one from the three that I purchased, I think this one will have the least staying power. It's very light. It's not meant to be a club fragrance. It's not meant to project, like I said. This was the cheapest of the bunch. It is very modern. It seems almost now like on my skin, it has something like a suede note, but I know it's not listed. Overall, it's a pleasant scent. If you like those pleasant, fruity, modern scents, this might be up your alley. If you like fragrances like Boss Bottled or Moschino Womo, this is similar, not a clone, but in that vibe. This could be worn to the office, casually, daytime, spring, summer, in such occasions. Rocha's Loam, the more I smell it, the more I like it. I didn't like the opening the best. It was an okay opening. 
but it was a little aggressive. It seemed like the bitterness of the juniper berries were there. It has tamed down and it seems a little more sensual, modern. It may have umbroxan, I'm not sure. It does seem like a modern masculine scent with a blueness touch, of course. Something like a Dylan Blue, like I said, but not identical, not a clone. It's doing its own thing. This would be very office friendly. You can wear this casually. You can probably wear this in the evening too, and people around you are going to like it. Last and definitely not least, my favorite of the bunch, Narciso Rodriguez Musk Collection EDP. This one is the best of the bunch. I am loving this one. To me so far, it is so beautiful. If you like musk, iris, you are going to love this one. I think this could be worn by both men and women, any ages. It's a very fresh, clean musk. It's not soapy, it's classy, and I think it's really well done. The iris is clean, it's balanced with the musk and the berries. There's a slight fruitiness. All right, I'm gonna stop because I really do love this one. I have used other discount codes besides the Cyber 13 and the one with the free shipping. There were other ones. There was Xmas 19, Xmas 15. I'll put them up in the description for you guys. Let me know in the comments. Do you know any other discount codes for LaBelle perfumes? Have you ordered? Do you enjoy their selection? What is your experience with this website? I'm interested. Thanks again for watching. Until the next one, enjoy your fragrances.